This is an 11th video in this tutorial series where we're working with the skeleton model in Blender. And in the next few videos we're going to put some IK onto the arms and legs and hopefully make our guy a little bit easier to animate. Before we get started on that though, I'd like to point out an oversight that I've made in my IK setup. And on the fingers we place some IK and on all of these IK bones there's a setting that should have been disabled and when we add a bone in Blender it will set this setting by default to a bone. And there's three bones that make up the finger that are intended to have groups of vertices that they control and then there's the two IK bones which are intended to control bones and not vertices and the setting that I overlooked that should have been set up differently is found in the editing buttons in the armature bones tab and in these settings is an option to deform and this will be turned on by default when we make a bone. So in any IK related bones we need to start disabling the deform option. So I've already done it to the other hand and I'll finish up with this hand. So I'll just select all of the IK bones two at a time and quickly turn off this deform option. And with that deform option turned off we can now start our editing on them. Adding some bones for um, the IK on the arms. Um, I've decided to split my work area up. I now have a big 3D window and I've also added three smaller 3D windows and those are in top, front, and side view. And I found that this helps to um, speed up editing a little bit and hopefully when I'm doing poses as well it will come in convenient. First thing I'm going to do is snap my cursor to the pivot in between the upper arm and the collarbone and in the top view I'll add a bone to that. And I'll name that bone. It's going to be the controller bone in the arm so it'll carry the simple name arm left. I'll turn off the deform option because it's an IK bone and make it child of the left collarbone. And then I'll select the wrist bone and snap my cursor to it. And again in the top view add a bone. This bone I'll name arm IK left because it will be the IK bone and it will be child of the arm left bone. And a line of parentage will be seen to the left arm's controller bone. I'll select the head of the left arm controller bone and snap it to the cursor which is located at the wrist and this will pull that bone down to the wrist and while I'm thinking of it I forgot to set the deform option and turn it off on the IK bone. I'll add the same bones to the right side of the body so snap my cursor to selection, not to grid. Add a bone. Name that bone arm right. Turn off the deform option and make a child of the right collarbone. Add a bone to the wrist. Again in the top view. And I'll name that bone arm right arm IK right. Turn off the deform option and make it child of the arm right bone. And again the line of parentage will be seen. And with the cursor still at the wrist I'll snap that controller bone down to the wrist. 
So send selection to cursor. At this point, to be able to work, we're going to need to change our display option. And I'm going to go over to stick because it's easier to see. And I'll look at this in the front view. In between the arm bones and the arm controller bones in the front view, there's a considerable bow. And I need to eliminate this bow. So I'm going to grab the two elbow bones along the Z axis and pull them up until they line up with the arms controller bone. And I'll do it roughly first and then zoom in very close and do it again. To get a good accurate measure on that. So I'll grab that again along the Z axis so it only moves up and down and line them up. Center that a bit better and zoom in even closer. And I'll grab it again and again along the Z axis only and center it. And with that centered that way is good enough. And there's more specific ways that we can do this but th that'll work good enough. So I can now add the last two bones and they'll go on the elbows. So I'll snap my cursor to the elbow and again in the top view add my bones. I'll name that bone arm plane right and make it child of the arm right bone and disable the deform option and add the same bone to the other elbow cursor to selection, add a bone in my top view, name it, arm plane left, change the deform option and make a child of the arm left bone. And from here I'll just select the two bones at the elbows, grab them along the Y axis and pull them and how far away isn't too important, I usually pull them to around the next grid line. And that's the arm setup for for IK and in the next video we'll add the same assembly to the legs and then implement the IK to those setups. So that'll be in the next video and until then, happy modeling.